guys, Dr. Lori Sessing here today talking about your Alzheimer's brain. Your Alzheimer's brain. I could have an Alzheimer's brain too. Yet, I don't show signs of Alzheimer's, do you? Hmm. Turns out, because we don't do post-mortem studies of people who didn't show any signs of dementia, that not only do people with Alzheimer's have what we call plaques and tangles in, in their brain, which refers to the buildup of um, amyloid plaques um, around the neurons in the brain and also sort of a um, shrinking and tangling of neurons themselves, that that exists in you and I. The only difference between someone who is diagnosed with Alzheimer's versus someone who is not, even though their brains could be identical, most identical, identical in the fact that there are plaques and tangles there, is something that we call cognitive reserve. And what that pretty much means is, if you think a lot and you think out of the box and you press yourself every day intellectually, those stem cells in your brain that can turn into thriving neurons every single day do that. They grow and they thrive, they turn into neurons, and your brain becomes more and more powerful every day. You get new connections, new white matter, new paths that form for your thinking. And when you have this level of, this enhanced level of cognitive plasticity, in your brain, you have what's called cognitive reserve. And that basically just means that when plaques and tangles are present in your brain, we don't notice it because your brain is able to find other ways around them and to function. And so for years we thought, hmm, what's up with Alzheimer's patients? How are their brains different? And it turns out often they're not so different at all. It also suggests that we can actually try to reverse signs of dementia or deter them from occurring in the first place by exercising your brain every day like a muscle. Doing word puzzles and, and complex problem solving um, can actually help to prevent dementia. Um, and then I guess another way to talk about this is the fact that um, plaques and tangles can also be reversed themselves and dementia can be reversed through diet. Uh, we've seen not only cognitive reserve in people with plaques and tangles um, who don't show signs of Alzheimer's cognitively, meaning, you know, they're not showing signs of dementia. Um, they also tend to have a better diet, okay? And that's going to include um, reducing fat and sugar intakes, the bad fat, the bad you know, sugar, not so good. Um, and taking a high level of antioxidants can actually deter um, you from getting dementia. So consider C60. I just bring that one up because we've seen um, in recent years it actually reverse um, plaques and dissolve them. So make sure you have a healthy diet and make sure you exercise your brain every day because you could have an Alzheimer's brain and not really show signs of it. See you soon. Dr. Sesnick for Mind Matters. <laughs>